This is Imam Walid Hakim. I'm here in Arctic, Norway. We just finished our Taraweeh Salah. The masjid is this way. You've heard about the midnight sun before, but I'm actually going to show it to you now. So this is it right behind me, as you see over here. It's just going to touch the mountain. It will look like a sunset, but at this time of the year, we don't have a sunset. And something else that will shock you is that uh, this is this is actually west, right? But the sun is not setting in the west here. Actually, it's not setting at all. It's actually in our north. Why? Because this sun keeps going around the sky in circles. It doesn't set. It just keeps going around in circles all day. And if you look behind me as well, we have a full moon. So we have the midnight sun and we have the full moon. This midnight sun was mentioned in Surah Al-Kahf when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about the story of uh, Zulqarnayn alayhi salam and that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave him abilities to travel as far in the earth in the east and as far in the west and during these uh, travels Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that he went and, and saw some people who Allah did not give any coverings from the sun. At that time when it was revealed, uh, the scholars of tafsir have not seen this phenomena because they haven't traveled to these extreme parts of the world. If you're in the Arctic in some places, if I didn't have these mountains, you would see the sun all day, all night. Someone say, how do you fast over here if you don't have a sunset or sunrise? What do you do exactly? Now, of course, there are several fatwas. But the Muslims gathered together and they wanted to choose something that unifies them in this region. So they follow the, uh, the fatwa that came from Al-Azhar about following Mecca time. So we follow Mecca time. So that's why when we break our fasting, uh, the sun is in front of us. And some of you say it's haram. Well, the sun doesn't set. So <laughs> what do you want us to do exactly? We also follow Taraweeh on uh, Mecca time as well and Fajr on Mecca time as well, alhamdulillah. It's not going to last like this because in just a couple of years, uh, in Ramadan, we're going to have a real sunrise and sunset and then we will have to follow the local time and it's going to be very long, almost 22 hours. We are above the Arctic Circle already. We're just a short flight from the North Pole, but it's green over here because we are near the ocean and the ocean gets uh, warm waters from the Gulf of Mexico, which Alhamdulillah keeps us a bit warmer here in winter.